Hi, this is Jeannie Yu with VectorCast, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to write test cases to meet MCDC requirements. The agenda for the video will be, first, we're going to go over the different types of coverages, then we're going to go discuss specifically MCDC coverage, and then finally, a demo on how to use MCDC with VectorCast. Cole coverage definitions. MCDC, which stands for Modified Condition Decision Coverage, where the condition are Boolean expressions and decisions are changes in control flow based on one or more condition. A few condition examples would be Boolean variables, Boolean functions, and any logical expression. Here we have a decision example. This is a routing one. So if the message is valid and the destination is local, or the message type equal to broadcast, deliver the message, or else discard it. In general, then can be two to the nth combination of conditions. So for the example here, we're gonna have eight possible combination of conditions because we have three conditions. Now a message, destination to local, or message type equal to broadcast. Code coverage comparison. Let's go over a few of the more popular ones and see how it compares to MCDC. So with statement coverage, it just involves execution of all the statements at least once and does not take into consideration decision and conditions. The branch, which is decision coverage, where two tests are required to test the true and false path. It doesn't consider combinations of conditions. With multiple condition coverage, it tests all possible combinations, the full truth table. So the number of tests would be two to the nth power where n is the number of conditions in the decision. So if n is 5, 32 tests are required. If n is 4, 16 tests. n is 3, 8 tests, so on and so forth. The modified condition decision coverage only requires a subset of the truth table. So at most, 2 times n to the test, less if there are duplicates versus 2 to the nth power of tests for the multiple condition coverage. So for the same n, equal to five, 10 tests are required at most versus 32 tests. Now let's dive a little into MCDC. So what exactly is MCDC? It is a happy medium between decision coverage and the multiple condition coverage. So MCDC requirements are that every decision in the program has taken all possible outcomes at least once. Every condition in the decision in the program has taken all possible comps at least once. And every condition in the decision has been shown to independently affect that decision's outcome. So for each condition, there'll be two rows in a truth table where one condition changes and the outcome changes while the other conditions remain the same. This is often used in conjunction with statement coverage to get the most optimal coverage metrics. Here we have a truth table for conditions A or conditions B and condition C. This truth table will also be used in the demo later on, but let's go over a little bit first. So for MCDC, for each condition, we want to find a pair of rows that satisfy that condition, where the condition changes, the result changes, but the other two conditions remain the same. For condition A, you be rows seven and three. Condition A changes from three and seven, but condition B and condition C remains the same. The result changes. For condition B, the pair row would be seven and five. When condition B changes. The other two conditions remain the same and the result changes. And we have many rows that satisfy condition C. With the combination of the rows of conditions, eliminating the duplicates, we're going to write test cases for each row selected. Now that we have an understanding of what MCDC coverage is, let's take a look at an example and see how it plays out. In the source code, we're testing a login verification function. The function takes a name, user ID, social security number, and password. 
So if the user ID is checked to be a valid user ID or the social security number is checked to be a valid social security number and my password is a valid password, return allow or else return deny. Currently, I have coverage set as statement coverage. Let's take a look at the two test cases that go through the true and false path. For allow, first of all, I have the correct information for name, user ID, social security number, and password in the notes section. So I can see the input values all matches what I have. So the expected value would be allow. Execute. In the coverage viewer, since this is statement coverage, the lines of code that has been covered by the allow test case are marked green. The red are lines of code that have not been covered by any test case since we have not run the deny path yet. Let's do that right now. Take a look at the test case. You can see password is incorrect. Hence, we expect deny. Now with statement coverage, all the lines of code have been covered by our two test cases, allow and deny. Now let's take a look at MCDC coverage and statement. I'm going to switch to end statement plus MCDC. Taking a look at our coverage viewer. We have everything in red. Let's execute the allow and deny test cases. In coverage viewer, orange means that the line is partially covered and red means that the line is not covered at all. Um, taking a look at our true false path, you can see that with um, my user ID equals valid user ID, we have covered the true path, but not the false path. In case of my social security number and valid social security number, we have covered none of the true or false path. We need to add a few more test cases to satisfy our MCDC requirements. First, let's take a look at our truth table. View equivalence matrix from MCDC. In our truth table, you can see that this matches was shown on the slide previously. Here we have rows seven and three for condition A, seven and five for condition B and any one of these for condition C. Let's pick and choose a few. Since there are duplicates, we're going to go with rows 3, 5, 6, and 7. I have already created test cases for these rows. I'm going to import them. Take a look at row 3. And we have true for condition A, false for condition B, and true for condition C. Let's run these test cases, execute them. Now let's take a look at our coverage. You can see from all the green that we have full coverage. If you hover over the true and false path of each condition, you can see which test case contributed to testing that condition. Another option to add test cases is go to function and insert MCDC test cases. Vertecast will automatically generate test cases. You can see the rows match what we have above, but these are considered partial because Vertecast has no way of inserting the database values. So if you go open the test cases, you still need to insert the correct or incorrect values based on what you're testing. But the important thing is that it has identified the rows and the pairs for you and has inserted those test cases. So it's a much quicker process. 
I hope this video has shown you how to utilize VectorCast for MCDC and to improve your workflow. Thank you for your time.